Welcome to Paint With Heart Studios. I'm Cindy Harrison, your host and artist in residence. I'm a decorative painter. I am. I've been painting and teaching my craft around the country at conventions and seminars, and I have been published in magazines as well. Um, and tonight we're going to be doing the lovebirds. It's done on an 11 by 14 canvas in acrylics. And before we get rolling on that, I would love to introduce you to my bestie from LA, Melissa Reyes. Hi everybody, I'm Melissa Reyes. And um, you might know me by Ms. Meliz. You can find me at MsMeliz.com or Ms. Meliz on social media. That's how I met Cindy Harrison, as a matter of fact. So now we're best friends, but I'm here in Southern California and she's all the way on the East Coast in New Hampshire. But it's so nice to be here every week with her on Paint With Heart. And I'm really excited about this week because it's, we're celebrating love. And the word for this week is love. <laughs> and um, we are going to be painting these beautiful love birds, like Cindy said, and I can't wait to get started. So thank you for being here on Paint With Heart. Thank you, Melissa. Yes, I'm excited to, to get this ball rolling. Um, this is just a cute little ditty that I worked up, and I hope that you enjoy it as much as we are going to enjoy it. So before we get started, I'm going to turn the camera around. Okay. I today am doing it on a clipboard, but originally I did do it on Ooh, how neat. an eight and a half by 11 canvas. Okay. So we're going to start by making sure our piece is base coated with, it's a kind of a slip slap motion. I took some whispering turquoise and some white. the water out of your brush and you can pick up so it's half and half if you want and what you're going to do is go across your piece and I'm going okay so we don't mix it completely I mix it on on the surface <laughs> it kind of it kind of blends on the surface gotcha and right now, if it doesn't go all the way over to the edge, I might not be too concerned, but I do want, I'm going to put, um, I'm going to fix this up so it has edging on the top and the bottom that's not this. Anyway. You know, it feels like it's been a little while since we painted on canvas. Very exciting. We haven't painted on a clipboard in a while either. Oh, well, that's true too. <laughs> I'm painting on a canvas tonight and I'm been looking forward to this all day. It just feels good to paint on a flat surface. Oh, definitely. It's much easier, I think. You don't want too much whispering pine. So if your whispering pine gets over, you know, goes crazy on you, pick up that white and go over it with the white. You want it to be a lighter blue value. I'm really glad you said that. Yeah, you don't want a lot of the, uh, because our birds are going to be whispering pine, and if they're on top of whispering pine background, then you're not going to see them. Um, right? Yeah. I, had, I substituted with a, Ooh. with a sea breeze. It's much greener than I thought it yeah, was going to be. Yeah, sea breeze is very green, and so you're going to have a green sky. Well, you know, Southern California, we have a lot of pollution. So. <laughs> well, that's your story and you're sticking to it, huh? <laughs> well, it's kind of, um, you know, nah, whatever. Cartoon, it's a cartoon sky. I'm so happy to be painting with you, Cindy. So happy you're painting with me too, and that all the people that come to Paint with Heart paint with me. It's us paint with us, and it's awesome. 
It really is. And we should have it, a week of grateful because I'm grateful. I'm blessed. Another week we should have blessed. Last definitely. Week. You know, we've been doing these words and I've enjoyed doing it so much. It really has been um, just a blessing in itself. I'm just sitting here painting and enjoying my sky. I want to show you how it came out because it's kind of streaky. Is this okay? Hold on. Oh, it's perfect. I love streaky. Streaky's good. Blow dry. Okay. Now I'm going to, I'm going to put my birds on here, but I'm not going to trace the heart on. I'm just going to put the birds on right now. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to put it at the halfway point where between the two beaks. And this is only because I changed the um, size and dimension of my piece. If you're using the line drawing, then the line drawing will be fine. I'm going to go and make my heart. I'm going to make it a little narrower because I want to have areas that I can put my foliage. So I'll have a narrow heart. Okay. Now we try that. We know where we know where our birdies are going to be, right? But. We're not gonna paint them in yet. We just have an idea of where they're going to be and now we have our heart shape. Can you see that? Yeah. Now we're gonna take our cosmetic sponge and put out a puddle of baby blue, I mean, <laughs> baby pink and Napa red and then you're gonna put a third puddle between them. So you put this here and put that there and then a third puddle, you put one of each. So let me show you, because we're gonna mix the color in the middle. So I'm gonna put in a puddle of the pink here and a puddle of the pink here, okay? Then I'm gonna put a puddle of the Napa red here. So I'm putting a puddle here too. So your birds are on there. Every, my birds are on here, the wing, the belly, the beak, not the eye. And then the heart and the branch. Okay. Okay. Do I have to draw the birds before we start painting the... Um, I've got the heart and the branch. I went behind them with this uh, color but it took a lot of coats of white to cover it. So if you have at least the wings on there, you would know not to go on, not to put any of this pink paint there. Oh, fun, so much fun. Okay, does it look okay? I don't know if you can see it very well. Yep. Yeah. Yours are, yeah, yours are upright more than mine, mine are. Oh yeah, they are. That's what I'm because the base of my heart's smaller because my whole um, whole thing is a little smaller. Okay. Right, and that's what that's why I was saying earlier about this particular um, pattern. But any of my patterns that that I come up with are versatile. That you can change them, enlarge them, really? use them, elongate them. So we put out the baby pink, baby pink, napa red, napa red, 
Mix the Napa Red and the Baby Pink together. Baby Pink, Baby Pink, Napa Red, Napa Red. Yep, that's what I said. That's what I said. Uh oh. Hey, these are both brand new. I need to get. So something tells me that there's going to be some side loading. No? Eventually. Okay. Right now it's going to be easy and fun. Okay, fun. Easy. I'm ready. We're yes. going to take our cosmetic sponge and we're going to use a flat side, a peaky flat side. And we're going to start with the dark value first and build our way up. So load the sponge with the dark value, and then you start just pressing, overlapping. When you get to the heart part, you might you can go over it a little bit, but try to keep that shape pretty much what you see. So you can push down or you can drag, and you don't have to cover all the blue. And if you want to go over the log, you can go over the log. Just stay away from the belly and the wing. We're going all the way around. You're staying really close in the one spot. I know, because I was kind of filling in, but I don't have to. So you okay. can kind of go around your, your heart. And change the position. You know, you, I'm twisting as I do this. I'm twisting as I do this. I put it in one position, drag, put it in another, twist and put it in another position. I'm not twisting on the surface, but I'm twisting in the air. And then I try to go right up to the um, line. Did you say to go over or near the branch? You can, I went over the branch. I'm just saying, you know, except for I, I didn't go over here, but I went over it on this side. So when you go around the heart, okay. Do that all the way around. Well, you don't have to cover everything right now because we're going to go with the next color. So I, I don't even wash this out. Just kind of tap it on your paper towel. And I pick up the next color and I'm going to do the same thing. Not covering. I don't want to cover it completely the other color that I just, the Napa, but I want to add to it. Are you going all the way to the edge all the way around? If yeah, I think, I think you are. Just the two of us. <laughs> stuck with that one. When that one is, when I'm Feel good about that one. Again, put, smush it on your paper towel. I don't think I'm doing like this right. How's this? How's this look? Fine. More paint. More paint. More paint. I know you're going to complain about my sponge. That's your problem. <laughs> I like my sponge. So basically, this is supposed to mimic like cherry mimic. blossom petals. Wow. Okay. And anytime, if you feel like you lost one of the values, you can go ahead and put it back in. It's like if I felt like I lost. That's the best part. That's the best thing I heard you say all night. Just the two of us. You know what? I like love songs. What's your favorite love song, Cindy? Uh, I oh, do you and Bill have a song? 
I will survive, yes. <laughs> do you? Hit do me you, with your best shot. <laughs> hit me with your best shot is not a love song. <laughs> so you don't want to cover completely all the two colors that are, you want to see that depth. And you don't have to cover all the blue, but I'd like to have most of the blue covered. And then when you're done doing the whole thing, you wash out your sponge. If you're doing the canvas and you want to not, if you don't want to frame it and you want to just um, hang it on the wall as is, you can also do this sponging around the edges or you can keep the edges just blue. So when you're done playing with that, we will, um, we will blow dry and then add in your birds, trace on your birds and your branch. And feel free to place them higher or lower in your heart. It's just a guideline. How are you doing, everyone? I'm doing like this a lot. This one. Okay, I'm gonna hold it up and you can tell me what I'm doing wrong. Okay. <laughs> or what I can change. I think it's time to maybe go back and add. Let me see. Other colors. Hold on, I'm going. Okay, so I've put all three colors so far. Oh, hello everybody. Cool. You, you've got all the values that, you, that I wanted you to have and you have that variegated look, it's quite lovely. Everyone's still sponging. Yep. <laughs> yes, a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I saw Donna, she knew she was muted, and so she held up her sponge. <laughs> I see it, we're still sponging. Ruth is sponging, everyone's sponging. This is all good, all good. So whenever you're, whenever you're ready, you wanna hold it up, I will. I'll spotlight you and check it out. Oh, oh, hold on a second. I feel like I got gotcha. you. Let me spotlight you. There you go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's so pretty. How much uh, are you supposed to have blue showing through the pink? Yeah, yeah I, got blue, I got blue showing. I got a little heavy on that side, but I got blue showing through the pink on this side. You can see it uh, spotlight me again. Um, see? Oh, yeah. Blue showing through. It's supposed to mimic cherry blossoms, and you're seeing the sky through the cherry blossoms. Anyone else got something to show me yet? Oh, so I posted the ornament, 2016 ornament book that I, um, got last week, I posted it on my website. So if you go under pattern packets, it's actually, there's a segment underneath that list of pattern, pattern uh, categories that says book. So if you're interested in that, it has in there written instructions for all the ornaments and the two cards and the luminary that I taught uh, last year before Christmas. About how many um, ornaments is in that packet? There's 10 ornaments, two cards, and one luminary. Okay. And you can still get the kit as well if you didn't already get it. Or if you want another one. If you did get it and you want another one, you can still get it. <laughs> is, is it all painting? Um, there's a watercolor. There is... Um, Predominantly acrylics. Okay. Okay, so how are we doing? Let's well. See. What do we got? Kathy's got something for us to show us? Okay, let me spotlight you. Neat. So are you gonna go up into the corners? Are you gonna carry that? I, I will after, yes. Yeah, I just, I did great. all around the heart in that first. Awesome, awesome. That's great, okay. Let's see. Oh, let me go over to Donna. Oh yeah, look at that. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. It might yeah. even be too perfect. 
<laughs> Ruth. Ruth. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, you're too perfect, too. Love it. <laughs> my yeah. edges around my heart aren't good. What am I going to, how am I going to fix that? The what? The edges around my heart. That's why I'm saying yours and Donna's is like too perfect because it got, it got a little too smooth right about um, here. So what you do is just take the corner, take a corner of it and kind of go over, over it. Oh, little. okay. All right. So we want to come in a little bit. Just, just here and there. No, I mean, this I went over too far, but the other ones I kind of just go over just a little bit on the corner. Not to, lose the, not to lose your heart shape, but to just not have a perfect line there. That's all. Okay. Okay. Let's see. All right. All right. All right. Who said all right? Pat. Pat. Where's Pat? What you got? <laughs> go ahead. You can do it. Oh. Oh, cool. Yeah, they, yeah, I'm a little blotchy there. That's but, fine. That's fine. Like, bring it up over your face so I can see the bottom. <laughs> yeah, I got paint on me. Oh, look at you. Okay. <laughs> Is Debbie or Cynthia? Debbie? Okay, Debbie. Oh, that's going to be beautiful. You're doing a little one. Yeah, you can overlap some of the lighter values over the heart outline. Okay. But otherwise, that is beautiful. I like that. I like you do things smaller. I, I like how they come out. <laughs> Cynthia was about to show us something, right? Yeah. Okay, go for it. Oh, look at that. Oh, wow. That, what kind of sponge are you using? That, it's leaving a pretty pattern. It's a makeup sponge, but I cut the bottom. Ah, and I rounded it off a little bit. That is cool. So it's a little they're bit smaller. They're smaller strokes. Yeah, yeah. I see them. Use the tips a little. Okay, so am I ready to move on? Cindy? Yes. Yes. So next, trace, uh, dry it. Make sure it's dry, and then go ahead and trace whatever part of your pattern back on that you might have lost with this color, with this paint, and. Um, we're gonna start with base coating in our branch. Let's put on the branch. That's going to be base coated with mink tan. And I'm going to use my flat brush for the most part. So I thought maybe when I finish this, I could put it in my kitchen and put my recipes on it or something. Oh, the clipboard? Yeah. I'm glad you did a clipboard. I think you, you really wanted to do a clipboard. And I was like, eh, I don't want to do a clipboard. <laughs> but I do have my Wonder Woman clipboard up here that I really enjoyed doing. And you have been such a Wonder Woman lately with your new book. I'm so and excited. I'm so excited and so happy for you. Kathy's, Kathy's buying my new book. Oh, awesome. Oh, I want it too. I'm going to buy it. I got to put, I've got to put it in the mail. I got to, well, I got to invoice her. The, my, for whatever reasons, my website doesn't accept PayPal. What? Yeah, I don't know. I have to go check that out. So I'll send her an invoice and she wants to order the kit too. So I'll put the kit together in a box and send that off to her. Isn't that exciting? It really is. I'm so happy. It's my so first happy. sale. Woo! <laughs> Well, I'm really proud of you, and it's very beautiful, and it is, um, it was really fun working with you on all of those, well, I didn't have anything to do with all of, any of those designs, but <laughs> I did, I did. Uh, you influenced them, honey, you did. No, 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 you told me what you were going to do, and I did support you, and I enjoyed making them went on the show on paint with heart well the gingerbread one i you totally decided which one. Oh, that's right i did i was like i want that gingerbread man with a little rolling pin and she's like well let's do this i'm like no please because i really didn't want because i didn't know what i was gonna do with it i'm like what are you gonna do with that it's got the jagged edges <laughs> I don't know, but I really need it. Come on, please. And then the ugly sweater came alive. Yeah, but you're so creative. I knew you would come up with something. 
And you did. In case anybody doesn't know that we collaborate, it's really just me begging for stuff. <laughs> <laughs> She doesn't always win. No, I don't. Sometimes I have really bizarre ideas. I don't understand the art. I don't, but I'm learning a lot. But it's still fun. It is way fun. And, um, well, kind of the tote one, you wanted the tote, so we're doing the tote. Yes, and I wanted to call it something. What are we calling it? Oh. You you were calling, I don't know. I wanted faces and you didn't want faces. Oh, those faces were creepy. Creepy doll faces. That's <laughs> creepy. Yes, they were. Not creepy. I think everybody is going to thank me for that one. That was like shiny, happy faces. I think that's what I wanted. Or fun, super fun times or something like Fanciful that. Fanciful faces or whatever. So we're looking to have decent coverage there. You want it not to be too see-through, if any see-through at all. And then I'll dry this and put the tail back in. So then I've got these medium totes. Now the only thing with that is I don't think that the um, straps are very long. Straps are very long. Yeah. Okay. So that's the only problem there. But well, you know, I think this they'll still be up. Maybe I'm the only one who cares about that. And then look at ladybug buttons. Oh my gosh, those are adorable. So everybody will get a ladybug button. For what? Are you going to tell me what? On the tote. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. So on the tote. And then these. No, sir. Squares, mm -hmm. and they've got, they've got lines through them. And then there's circles with lines on the outside, plain ones, uh, sunburst ones. So anyways, it's going to be cool. That's, that's adorable. That's awesome. Awesome. I don't know how you expect me to get any painting done if you keep showing me stuff. <laughs> you ready to move on yet? From the, from the branch? Yeah, we base coated the branch. We're gonna highlight and shade. Okay, I'm not quite done. Okay. I'll be. <laughs> no worries. I'm not going anywhere. Okay. All right. Burnt umber. Wait, you got you have little branch snubbins coming out. Oh, I made nubbies everywhere, yeah. It's nubulicious. <laughs> okay, awkward. <laughs> All right, got a couple little nubbins now. Okay, now what? Now we're gonna take our flat brush. I'm gonna use my three quarter inch, my big one. Tell me what you're gonna do so I can do too. Okay, yep, so handy dandy on the corner. <laughs> I have a feeling I know what we're gonna do. Of course I'd already dipped the brush. So, I'm going to go along the bottom, just kind of pity pat, don't get too crazy, and, and I'm not looking for a smooth transition here. On here, you can um, chisel this up this way if you want, and chisel this one over here. Again, I'm not getting too... I mean, I mean, if you want them to kind of blend in, just take the wet brush. And... Yeah, I'm not, this is not your perfect side load. I'm not looking to create a, necessarily a smooth transition. 
I just want some color on there. So I'm also going to go across the bottom here. I'm going to start against that area where the nebulous comes out. Just go down the bottom side, tipping my brush up because I don't want to get, I should have done that first. If you have a mop brush, you can mop it. Oh man. Can you see that? You want me to zoom in? I can zoom in. Yeah. How's that? See how crazy choppy it is? Yeah. Just go ahead and be choppy. Chopperella. Chopperella, really? Is that what we're doing now? Chopperella. Minus Mestrella. And did the umbrella. La 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 la. Okay. So on the website, if you hadn't gone and visited, in case somebody would like to, you know, they like the projects that we're doing, but they're not um, in a situation where watching the video and painting along with us is going to work for them or they don't have the bandwidth to watch the video or whatever. Um, some of the people in our industry like to have the written instructions. They mm. prefer to have the written instructions so that they don't have to keep looking at the video. They can use the video as a, an extra reference should they get stuck on the, you know, on the written word. That makes sense. So I am now putting on the, on the website, under the episode tile where they would go to see the replays i am adding a picture of the finished project project to the top so you know what you know just not the title you see the actual project then at the underneath the video i'm adding please send me a hard copy or please email me a digital copy buttons I named them, but I, I named the buttons. Please send me a hard copy and the other button. Please send me. Oh, I see. Please email me a digital copy instead of add to cart. <laughs> oh, that's very clever and clear. Are we doing this all along the bottom of the branch? Yep. So, you know, I think it should be labeled with Melissa or without Melissa? Because obviously, if they go with the written instructions, they don't get Melissa. <laughs> I'm very serious. <laughs> if you, it's like caffeine or no, or decaf. <laughs> if, if you want to have fun and experience the whole lovey-dovey, you know, relationship with Melissa, You've got to come to the video. The Galantine. The Galantine. The BFFs. You know, the this. Yep. Beautiful. Marvelous. You want all of this. you got to come here. <laughs> come and get it because I'm all about love, everybody. <laughs> love. <laughs> and so you don't get the unwritten instructions. No, you don't. You miss that. But although you will get to your perfection, and um, and I'm sure that you know you can be the serious artists, and you know the people without the Wi-Fi will be very happy. And we want everyone to be happy. I can. I totally get. That. Everybody's happy. And they're there for a nominal fee, so. Well, you know, you're doing extra work. We can um, go down the side of the tails. So the inside of both the tails and the outside of the tails.
And if you want, chisel some of that color. I would chisel some of that color in. So it's a side load, but I'm chiseling it in. Does that make sense? I hope. Thumbs up when you're ready for the highlighting. One, Ruth, um, not Ruth, <laughs> Ophelia's ready. <laughs> and Deborah and Kathy. How about Donna, Ruth, Cindy, Pat's ready? Okay, so take some white and put it next to your mink tan. And we're gonna scoop in the mink tan first, tap it off, scoop up the white, and then blend it in a separate puddle until you get a very a lighter value and then this is going to be chopped i don't even side load this even though i loaded it like a side load i'm not okay i'm going to chop it in just like i just did the dark color make it long and then shorter 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 as you go down not all the way down you can bring that out this way, you can bring it in this way. You can touch some of this over here on like a side load, but it's not really. Tap it out with your finger if you want. If it's too much, soften it with the water under your brush. So I'm gonna kind of just tap it out, soften it off with the white water edge of my brush but you don't want a lot of this color on here. You just want a few spots. That might even be too much there. I'm gonna put some over here, bring some up there, bring some up here. You wanna make this look like it, you see the thickness of it. You can even tuck some around there. So real technical. <laughs> okay, so this is what I've got so far. Yep, awesome. Okay, so now you're going in and shading it with the burnt on under, under. <laughs> under, under. Shading it under with the burnt umber. So I forgot to tell you, the dark is under the bellies. Did you do that too? I forgot to put the dark under her belly. All right, I actually made it worse. <laughs> well, it looks the same, but okay. <laughs> well, it worked, but then as I was trying to blend it, it got like, you know, it went away. It's okay. Oh, the other thing too I wanted to mention is that the um, March paint box of the month is now available. It's gonna be um, $25, just like the February one was. It starts with the week of the 26th, and we're gonna be doing tote bags. So there's gonna be a tote bag in it, a small tote bag big enough for your books and stuff. And it's gonna have buttons and a, and a fabric pen in there, a marker that washes off, then St. Patrick's Day one, we're gonna have a composition notebook. And the following week is the box with the tiles, a napkin, a bumblebee, a ribbon, there are stencils, a couple stencils will be in there. The only thing that's not in that would be the box itself and the tiles. You'll get the cork backing for the tiles, but the tiles in the box will not be part of this kit. 
If you want those, those will be sold separately. And the one after that will be that plaque. I had an oval plaque that would be a separate uh, purchase because the plaque, you know, it's wood and you probably have enough wood at home. You don't need more wood. Cindy, yeah. are the tiles just plain white ceramic tiles? Yes, ma'am. So that's on the website also under project kits. Let's see. Are we ready to move on yet? On the wing and the belly, we're going to make those white, snow white. And the bird itself is going to be um, base coat with whispering turquoise. So let's do, let's do the white first. I got some white out already. I'm going to use, let's see, let's go with, oh, I have, there it is a round brush. See, and I even made the wings heart shape for you. Oh yeah. And I'm gonna put the belly in on top of the branch. So the white, the belly is gonna be white? Yeah, make the belly white. And then we're gonna make the um, wings white also. It's probably going to take like three coats of white. And it's okay if you go over the lines because it's white and white's easier to cover than if you had done the dark first. When you're done with that white, mm -hmm. go on to the bird itself with the whispering turquoise straight. And if it doesn't show up on against this, Well, uh, it means that this is too dark, but we're going to go and do some shading of the turquoise blue, so we should be fine. It's not going to be much different than the background. And they're done the same, both are done the same way. Yeah, so we're gonna have a big head. These are kind of inspired by, I bought some ceramic measuring cups mm -hmm. and they came in blue the measuring cups themselves are bluebirds Aww. and the wing on the measuring cups are the white with the red roses mm -hmm. and i really liked them but my kitchen was no longer blue it's now green and my mom's kitchen's blue so i gave them to her she has them up on her hutch. I like that. There you go. Okay. And the girls, the girl has the pet up here. How are we doing? I'm going to put another coat in here. So there we go. Okay, so where are we at? Is everyone ready for the next step? Let's do a 
Thumbs up if you're ready. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Let's go ahead and we will. I'm going to tint the belly first with uh, the pink mix or even the, the yeah, the pink mix, I'll see. Let's go with that and see what happens. And that's a side load. You pick up a little bit of that pink mix, have a fair amount of water in your brush. It's very pale. I turn it upside down because I'm gonna go from the top of the belly to right above the um, here. If I go over the blue area, just wipe it off with clean water in your brush. You can wipe that off. Is that pink and white? That's it. Yeah, the pink mix. No, I didn't have one. <laughs> it's a, it's the, the it was baby pink plus Napa red mix. Okay. So I put that in first. Oops, it was a side load of the pink, right? It was a side load of the pink down the belly. I think I had too much paint on my my paintbrush, but it looked okay. Oh yeah. Yeah. They're adorable. Okay. If that's dry, you can erase, if you have excess lines that you don't, you didn't paint over and you want to remove them now, you can erase those. And then what we're going to do is trace on your eye so you know where the eye goes. And again, if the line drawing isn't in a placement that you feel is natural to your bird, just move it. Move it, move it. Knowing where her eye is going to be. I'm going to take the side load of that pink mix again. And I'm going to do a little C stroke. Paint up. Right under the eye. I am going to take my brush and pick up some turquoise blue on a side load, of course. Because you just can't help yourself. And I'm going to then start to go, let's see, I'm going to go from front of his face, stop right where his neck is. I'm going to go from the neck part toward halfway across to his, his neck. Stay away from that, and I'm going to go down his back side. It's like a, it's so dry that I lose the ability to get very far. I'm going to go down the belly here. I'm going to start on the chisel, even though I can go up to his neck. Now when I go here, I'm going to end up putting some blue on top of the heart. So I'm going to have to go back and wipe that off real quick. 
with a watery brush. Bring that right down into here. Clean your brush off, wipe off that blue. By now, then the head should be dry. Then I can go finish the rest of that head. Let's go finish off the tail. I'm going to do a little down and up. Now, what I want to do next is kind of like we did on the branch and chisel slide, we slid on our chisel the color. So I'm going to slide on a chisel this color. It kind of looks like feathers. Okay. Well, it's got a hint of pink now. Let's see. Yeah, that's, that's about all you need. It's really, it's very subtle. Okay. Yay. And then take one area at a time. So if you want to start like on his on her back, I call her this one a her. Uh -huh. And we're gonna go down her back, pat, pull, pat, pull, pat, pull, and push that paint right into that corner. Oops. Pushing that paint right into the corner. We can go around the head. And this is a nice dark color. So if you needed to reshape her head and make it round, or you could do that at this time. Stop on the chisel. That's the chisel right there. When you go on this side of the wing, be prepared to wipe off that white area or try your best to keep your side load narrow. I'm going to come up this side this time and I'm going to go right up to her neck. And again, I'm not being overly picky about the side load. If I've got lines and you want to tickle, make it smooth, go ahead. Let's see. When that is dry, I'm going to do the other side. Is that dry? Yeah, that's dry. Do the other side of the head. And I'm going to start a little bit in from where I stopped the first time and bring that around. there. And then what you can do is bring a little bit of a shading under her neck. See that wasn't dry yet. It's okay. No worries. Chisel down some color, overlapping the chisel as you go. If it looks different, if this looks brighter, it's because I did a highlight in here because Melissa didn't have, Melissa doesn't have, the color with uh, whispering turquoise. She used a darker color and we needed to lighten her bird up rather than just add shading to it. So for that, if that's your case too, you can use your moon brush and you can take some highlight or, or white and put it in there to lighten up your bird. But on, on the original, I didn't do that. When you've done that, bring your paint in, paint in her eye with black.
and the beak and the feet are spicy mustard. And I just did little, I don't know, what you want to call them, little toes. I did like three little toes. On each side, on her and on him. That's the beak and the eye. Those are the toes. If you notice, my floats are not perfect. The jagged lines overlap and they're not perfect. Just slapping some paint on. Did I lose anybody yet? Okay, I see your little feet there. So how are we doing? Um, thumbs up, thumbs up. One, two, three, four. Okay. The next step, I'm going to take my flat again, and I'm going to take a very itty bitty bitty um, white on that edge and I'll show you right here it's just ever so small and I want to keep it that way ever so small I'll stay to the outside of the puddle and then on the eye if I can do this let's see if I can do this up close from a different angle, let's see. Well, I, maybe I stand and then I could do it. Ah. Okay, so I'm gonna go in here and I'm going to just do a little C stroke. Like that. And then, you can take your fine liner with some of that white. And you can put a dot down the bottom. And a little bit of a stroke up the top. If you lost some of that black on the bottom, load your brush up. And you can bring some of that back. If you want to give her eyelashes, you can give her some eyelashes. So if you want to bring that black, you can just outline her eye and bring that back down. If while you're there, you want to put this black line to separate her beak, you can. Oh my God, Cindy. <laughs> Are we whining? <laughs> no, I'm, we should have some wine. <laughs> I'm whining. But I'm just... You're so pretty. So impressed. How are we doing? We all look like we're still really busy, busy, busy. Are we all busy, busy, busy? Or are we done on the eyeballs and the feet? Okay, you got one thumbs up. Oh, you got a question, Pat? You can... I'll unmute you. Hold on. 
If I'm not done, I can do it afterwards. No, it's okay. I'm not in a rush. You in a rush? Nope. Yes, Debbie. Yes, Debbie. How do you do the feed? I forgot. Oh, okay. Can you give me the Oh, what color did we use? That's spicy mustard. What did we highlight the belly with? I know that we did pink, but it looks like there's, there's a, it looks like there's a, um, oh crap, I forget, a shadow there. Yeah, it's probably the lighting because it's just the pink. Oh, okay. It does look like it, it was, was um, shaded. Yeah, it's just that right here, it's just a high, whoops, where am I? It's just a highlight of pink right there, or whatever you want to call it. A glaze is what it is. It's not a highlight, it's not a shade, it's a glaze. But I didn't put anything under the wings or under the, you know, under the blue. It's just the white and the pink. That's all. I saw you do your feet and they come out so good. <laughs> That'd be so cute. Yeah. What was the shading at the bottom of the beak? Yeah, you take some of that um, Napa Red and very, very thin down with water. And you can kind of tap that in there and wash over the bottom part of the beak and then tap it off. Or you can do a side load against the bottom. It's whatever you want to do. So there's that. And the top, the top is white. It's a, a white at the top. Watered down a little bit. See that? Looks hard, good. Hard to see, but it's there. Definitely don't have enough steady of a hand for that. Hmm? I don't have a steady enough hand for that. Okay, how's this look? Cool. Big kissy kissy. Yours are reaching out to kiss each other. Mine are just like all. <laughs> Here's all. Mm. <laughs> How are we doing? You're all unmuted, so you can all talk to me. Okay. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Two okays? Yes. Yeah. I think okay. <laughs> oh, Ophelia's going to show us something. Oh, look at that. Oh. They're so sweet. They really are kissing. <laughs> they are kissing. They are so sweet together. Well, they got a kiss. <laughs> That is so sweet. Oh, how cute. Okay, so she's ready to move on. Let's see. Anyone else got wanna? So I need to, we need to highlight and shade the feet and show you the little rosettes and then we would be done. Now, one thing I remembered the other night that I keep forgetting. I have forgotten to tell you all that you don't forget to sign your pieces. Hopefully you knew that already and that you were doing that because this way here, <laughs> you know, that people know that you actually painted these things. <laughs> it's like I, for, I forget myself to sign things and people call me on it all the time. Anyways, I'm gonna move down to the feet. And what I did there, I side loaded them again with and it's not even a side load. It's a wash of that um, Napa Red on my liner brush. And I kind of line the bottom of the toes and I tap them out. And the highlight is a watered down white. And that's tapped just toward the um, toward the outside of the toe area. Pretty much all those feet are. Now mine looks like it has red nail polish on. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. I got a lot of use out of my Q-tips tonight. Let's do the little rosettes. You're gonna want a fresh puddle of the baby pink and the Napa red out on your palette. It's, there can be small dots of the color because I'm not gonna. 
Use a lot of it. Okay. You have your stylus? Yep. You have a big end and a little end. You decide which one you want to use. But I'm going to pick up a dot of the Napa Red first, and I'm going to do a little circle. Wipe off my, wipe it off on a napkin, and then go in and pick up a pink dot and swirl it in. it again so I put in a red dot, a Napa red dot wipe off my and swirl in the baby pink swirl in the Napa red wipe it off swirl in the baby pink if you lose some, like the first one I did, I kind of lost the Napa red. I can swirl it back in. Swirl in the Napa red. Wipe it off. If you're swirling it in anyway, why do you have to wipe it off? Because I don't want them to blend. Are you using the big end or the little end? I'm using the little end. Try to have an odd number. Odd numbers are better. Have some fresh uh, turquoise blue loaded up on your liner brush or the round brush, I mean. And we're going to do little sit down leaves. So that means I'm going to first off make my brush to a point, not so flat. And I'm going to sit it down and lift it up. Sit it down. So it kind of looks like a little leaf. And I'm going to change the direction of my leaves so it's, they're not always all going in the same direction. Then and pull it out. Well, I lost track of what? Whether or not this is an odd or even number. And I did them very little. Oh, pretty. And I went ahead and made my uh, heads a little bit bigger to accommodate my huge eye in the middle of my purse face. That's cute. <laughs> I like it. I'm happy with the way they look too. I really am. I'm gonna get the little yellow on my my beaks and maybe add one little little tiny claw sticking out for the other bird. Okay. Wow. So I am so pleased with this. Look how cute. They're cool. They're so sweet. They are so sweet. So after the paint dries, if there's any uh, lines, graphite lines showing, go and erase them. Okay, wonderful. So you can sign it now and oh, Ophelia's ready. Okay. Hold on a second. Spotlight you. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, they're so sweet, Ophelia. That's pretty. So, They're kissing. They are. They are. 
Kiss your <laughs> It looks so happy. Are you happy with it? I hope you're happy with it because it's so cool. Yeah, it's just that when you look at it real close, you're not happy. <laughs> That's the thing. You have to put it on away from you like five or six feet like a normal person would be doing it. Hanging yeah. Out. I'm not finished. No. I won't, but what I have so far. Oh, pretty. I fixed the heart. Does that look better around the heart? Oh, don't move because I'm not focusing. There you go. Yeah. That, it looks leafy. Look like so look at that. That is so pretty. Okay. I still have yet the wings. Yeah, go ahead and do it. Feet. Yeah, go ahead and do the, do it. Because maybe by the time we're done looking at everybody, she'll be done. And if, I have to go, so I'm going to. Oh, that's it. Okay, we'll finish it tonight and then post it on, on and I'll get it. I'll, I'll grab the shot. I will. I sure will later on. Ruth, Ruth. Oh, look at them. They're so, oh, they're so sweet. Oh, yes. it's the heart at the top. Oh, I love it. I like it. It's nice, Ruth. I like them. They're they're yeah. They're chubby, and I like the chubbiness. They're, they are. Yeah, they're chubby. Go for it, Pat. Let's see. Oh, sweet. How cute. Yeah. Yeah. Very sweet. <laughs> Oh, yes. Yep. Okay. You Thank you. That looks so good. I enjoyed it. So who else has something to show us? We saw Ruth. We saw Pat's. We saw Ophelia's. Deborah. I'm good. Oh, look at yeah. that. Yeah. I like how it's so soft and sweet. Very lovely. And she signed it. Yay! I did, yes. That's going to be awesome. I think so. I like them. Thank you. I love them too. They're so awesome. Okay, so let's see. We've got um, Kathy. Did you show us yours? No, not yet, but I'm going to redo mine and put it on a plaque. Oh, look at that. Yeah. They're pretty. I really didn't have the right sponge to do this, and that's I didn't either. But that's I okay. Yeah, you, you worked it out fine, and, it, it, and that's great. Okay, let's see. So we saw Cynthia. Yes. Did we see yours yet? No. <laughs> You're on. Okay. Oh, oh, so pretty. pretty. Oh, I love it's that. Pretty. Uh -huh. I love the variegation of the of the foliage around them. It's so beautiful. Nice. Oh, so you so you're still working on the bellies. The bellies right now look like the background, right? Yeah. They're shaded, but probably put some more pink. Yeah. Because I'm not. They kind of look like they blend right into the the heart. Yeah. So make that a little bit more distinct distinct but other than that they look adorable okay so let's see you stay down I found this rubber stamp at uh on clearance i don't know where it was michael's or joanne's or wherever i was and it says follow your art oh that's yeah. awesome i love that <laughs> and i found another one that says friends are those people who know the words to the song in your heart and sing it back to you when you have forgotten the words. Isn't that nice? Just the two of us. That's so sweet. I can't get that song out of my head right now. But that is really nice. Yeah. Mm. That's a nice one. Uh-huh. That one nice. And I feel that way about all of you here today. You know the song in my heart and, and when I forget it, you're there to sing it back to me <laughs> thank you all well thank you thank you oops you can sign it now and then you can say your goodbyes and then i will say my goodbyes you, sign it with you can sign it with paint and a fine liner brush or you can wait till it completely dries and do it with a marker a sharpie marker yeah Amreyas, right in the corner. Beautiful. All right.
I am smitten with paint with heart. <laughs> so anyhow, thank you so much. Look at this. This is a, such a fun painting. I love my little bluebirds of, of happiness. And um, the word for the day is love. And thank you so much, Cindy Harrison, for having me here with you on Paint with Heart. And thank you, everybody, for sharing this wonderful weekend with me and Cindy and for um, painting with us here on Paint with Heart and having such a fun time collaborating, I think, has been the word of the day besides love and showing how um, spending time together is one way to show how friendship and relationship is um, what Valentine's Day is all about. It just doesn't always have to be a love relationship to, be, um, to have fun and to um, share love with one another. So have fun. Thank you. Thank you, Melissa. And yes, there's many kinds of love. And we have like a sisterly love, I think. And, and um, you are more of a sister to me than I could ever hope for. And mm. thank you for being my collaborator, my best pal, my, my confidant, my cheerleader, and all those things that, you know, everybody should have one in their corner and you are mine, honey. Mm -hmm. So thank you so much for joining me every week and putting up with me. <laughs> It's a tough job, but someone's got to do it. <laughs> yeah. So, and thank everyone for joining us in painting this beautiful painting. I think it's beautiful. I hope you do too. And until next time, remember to always paint with heart. <laughs> My hat was falling down. <laughs> Paint with heart. <laughs> Paint with heart. Goodbye and good night. Thank you. Good night, everybody. Yes, Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoyed it. Oh, I have to start talking? Okay. Hi, everybody. Yes, and I am Cindy's best friend, but she's also my best friend, and that is really stupid, but it's true. <laughs> Sorry, just that I wasn't ready. Are you ready now? So with the, with the yellow, we're going to... Oh, yellows now. Okay, mix in the yellows. Yeah, we're going to go and do the um, beak. Oh, making it dramatic, because you can't see me anyway. Sound effects.